welcome to another episode of kitchen revelation so today i've come up with another diy video where i'll be teaching you how to store ginger and garlic for a long period of time so without wasting much time let's quickly get on to the video so here i've washed and cleaned 500 grams of ginger now peel off the skin using a peeler or a knife now this can be done when ginger is in season and the prices are really low you can buy them in bulk and do this process so that you can store it for a period of 1 year and you can add it to your gravy sauces marinades soups or while making a simple ginger tea so in this way i finished peeling off the skin of the entire ginger that's the 500 grams of ginger that i've taken so next i'm going to take a mixer grinder jar now cut the ginger into small pieces and add it into the mixer grinder jar add very little at a time and then coarsely crush the ginger pieces and transfer them onto a plate this is the easiest method i've seen people grating ginger using a grater which is more tedious and time consuming in this way you can easily crush ginger without much efforts transfer crushed ginger onto a plate similarly i'll crush the remaining ginger as well If you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it for regular updates click on the all option so that you get updates as and when i post So in this way we have finished grinding all the ginger now gently spread it and sun dry this for around 4 to 5 days or until you feel that the ginger is really hard enough and the water content has evaporated from it So it took me around 5 days and after 5 days you can see that the ginger has really uh, dried really well. Uh, you can see that it is really hard. So you can store this as it is in an airtight container or blend it into a fine powder and then store it in an airtight container like how I'm going to do it. I've added this into a mixer grinder jar and made it into a fine powder. Now this dry ginger powder is specially useful for those days when you're really down with cough, fever, or cold, and you need a ginger tea. Just add this into some water along with some tea leaves and honey, and have it hot. So next we move on to preservation of garlic. For that I've taken 500 grams of garlic. To start with, take another bowl and break open the garlic pods. So finally I've separated all the garlic pods from its stem. Next to disinfect it I'm going to add in 1/4 teaspoon of salt and 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric. Now add in some water and allow the garlic pods to sit in the solution for at least half an hour. So it's been almost half an hour and let's strain these garlic pods and add them into a blender jar. We are not going to de-skin the garlic we are going to grind it along with its skin. That is the reason to get it cleaned we had dipped these garlic pods in this solution. Also the skin gives a lot of punch and heat it will also add a lot of flavor along with the garlic pods So we finished grinding the garlic pods I've not uh, ground them into a fine paste but just coarse paste Next take a steel plate if you want you can uh, line it with a parchment paper or a small muslin cloth uh, else uh, you can just directly add the uh, garlic paste dumplings onto this So in this way we have finished uh, lining the plate with the garlic paste. Sun dry this for at least 4 to 5 days or until it becomes crispy. So after about 5 days it has become really crisp. The water content has evaporated really well and when you uh, try to break it it should break like a biscuit. It should become that crisp. So next we will grind this into a fine powder. Add this into your blender jar. Just give 2 to 3 pulses and that's it. On all those lazy days or when you don't have time to clean garlic you can use this for marination for adding it to your soups curries gravies etc since we're not adding any preservatives please store it in the refrigerator for a longer shelf life it is summer season so make the most use of it i hope you all like this video thank you for watching kitchen revelation